<laughs> Hello you guys, welcome back to another video. I know it's been a minute, but I'm here with Natalie. And Natalie. today we're gonna do a little mukbang Q&A featuring, as you guys can see, Chick-fil-A. Boom. So let's just get into it because I'm hungry and we took a long time in line trying to get barbecue sauce. Technical difficulties. Technical difficulties. So let's get into it before we even do the questions. Let me just take a bite of my chicken. <laughs> <laughs> We can tell this is your first time. We can tell. Look, guys. I'm look little, at every fry. I'm a little nervous. Oh. <laughs> Just be yourself, girl. Okay. All right. So, let me see what they ask. If you don't eat buffalo sauce at Chick Fil A, you whack. What is what is it like? What is it in it? What is what does it taste like? <laughs> taste it. <laughs> that smells like some soup. <laughs> like they order soup. some soup. They order some soup. Oh my god. Barbecue sauce is where it's at. Mm -mm. Mm. You don't like barbecue sauce? Not from Chick fil A. What's wrong with it? Everything. Mm. Mm. Alright. You want to ask your question first? This chicken is so good. I can't even think. First question that you guys asked us is. What's your degree in? So, who wants to go first? Okay, I'll go first. So. No, I'll go first. Okay. Because there's nothing to say. Um, so right now, I am in college. And I'm taking my basics. And I'm, very, I'm a very indecisive, indecisive, <laughs> indecisive, indecisive person. And so, I'm giving it time to see what I want. I did originally go in for nursing, but I don't know if that's what I want to do, so it's undecided right now. I oh, see, there's nothing wrong with that. That's good. Trust me. As long as you're doing something yeah. while you're deciding what to do, nothing wrong with that. Yeah, I'm not like taking classes that like are a waste of time, you know? They're like the basics, like the ones that you need to get your associate. Yes. So. Me, like she said initially, I'm going into nursing. You know, I'm doing my basics too. I have to wait till next semester to take my nursing exam and see what happens. You got this. <laughs> Didn't get this this time. I'm going to just be real with y'all. I failed the first exam. And I did but those tests be hard. Mm -hmm. I know a lot of people who retake it and retake it. I know, I just didn't have enough time because with everything with the coronavirus, I was supposed to take it two months ago at the school, but then it was canceled. So, it's okay though. Things happen for a reason, so it's alright. I'm not too, too upset about it. Mm. It's chicken. Do you want to eat the fries first? I ate both things at the same time. Oh. Um. I ate the fries first because I cannot eat cold fries. Oh, let me tell you what we got. Um, I got the number four, with the, which is the chicken strips, with barbecue sauce, the meal with lemonade. Cause mm, if you don't, if you do not get the lemonade from Chick Fil A. What are you doing? And I got the exact same thing as her. All right, this question I was confused about, so I had to ask her and then look it up. What is our dating range? So, from what I understood from Google, <laughs> it's like the lowest. And end, me. And, and Natalie. No, just screw what I said. <laughs> it's the highest, uh, like the lowest you date somebody at the highest, like that range. Okay. Mm -hmm. So, I guess for me, I would say like the lowest would be 18 because if you're not legal, we're not about it. <laughs> okay, if you're not legal, we just can't. Okay, I'm sorry. Sorry, baby. Ooh, that was my stomach. Hope no one heard that. Anyways. Uh, yeah, 18 being the lowest, and the highest, I, like I told her, the highest would be 28. Yeah, I don't know, it's high, but, it's like them daddies. <laughs> <laughs> if you got it in the bag. <laughs> if you got money. <laughs> um, honestly, I don't think I'd say 18. They are a little immature at that age, but, eh, I, can I just it. don't see myself, because, like, I, I work with a bunch of, like, kids like mm -hmm. people who are still in high school and like they're just mentality like, even though like that was me like mm. like I, I understand 
I'm not saying that I was the most mature person when I was a senior in high school, you know, but just the way they act, like, I don't think I could be with somebody, like, that childish. Like, been there, done that, don't want to do that again, you know? Yeah. So, I, I'm going to say 19, and then the oldest, I guess, like, 22. Yeah. But I got a man, so, and he's 20, turning 21, so... <laughs> Everybody clicked off this video now. Thanks, Natalie. Okay, you don't have to put that in. <laughs> oh, I'm gonna put this in, and you weren't gonna see that part where you said you don't gotta put that in. Oh, because you said yeah. gonna, you're gonna lose your viewers. <laughs> no, I was just playing. No. Dude, I've been wanting to charge that tablet I used to use in junior high. Oh my god. <clears throat> and look at that video of me dropping the flag. Remember, we're like, oh my god, that's illegal. I'm like, Natalie, you're gonna go to jail. Is it illegal? I think it is. And we thought the alarm was gonna go off, remember? Everything was scary. I think we saw like a homeless man or something. We saw somebody. <laughs> what were we doing? We thought we were bad because well, I always, we snuck into the school. I always felt, I even did that in high school. When I got into high school, I did that too. I think I went with Andrea. And we just felt so bad. Okay, somebody said, are y'all both single? And if so, how can I get over my hashtag single life? <laughs> it's so sad. That's so sad. Oh my god. Um, no, me and her were not single. We're both taken. But how to get over your single life? Um, just get over your single life knowing that a lot of people are not loyal. There's nothing wrong with being single. Oh yeah, and just trust me, dating somebody is really not all that. Unless It's hard, but it's a lot of work. <laughs> um... You definitely cannot be in a relationship if you don't love yourself. You gotta love yourself before you love somebody else. And, and move on from whatever happened in the past. Plus, being single is not bad because... Oh, no, it's not. It's not. So, don't be sad about your single life. There's nothing wrong don't with it. Don't give it up. Go to the pool. Go Get to, some girls. Go to the club. If you're old enough. Can't even go to the club. Pretty sure the club is closed. Not right now, but like eventually. See, I knew I was gonna get this question because people love asking this question. Where are y'all from? <laughs> and then how long have we been friends for? Um, I'm from Venezuela. I was born there, and I grew up there for several years until what? Several several Bro. years. Can't speak English. Several years until I was nine, and then I moved here, and then I moved back a year, and then I came back, and here I am. I'm here to stay. <laughs> <laughs> so I was born in Houston, Texas, you know, H Town, you feel. And um but my my fam my parents are both from here too. But my mom's side of the family is from El Salvador and then my dad's side of the family is from Mexico. So yeah, she lit with it. But my first language was Spanish. I do speak it fluently, read it, write it, understand it. So, yes Period. sir. Period. And then how did we become friends? Honestly, you can answer this one because I have short-term memory. I do too, but but I remember how we met because... Because I was we a wild person. In junior high, she's nothing like she was now. Well, actually, I take that back. You're kind of the same, but you were a lot crazier back then. Oh, yeah, for sure. Oh, my God. So we met in sixth grade. We went to the same junior high. And, like, we had... Miss Wagers class. That was her name. How do you even remember that? What the? F and her, and it was an English class. And we both had a mutual friend. Oh, named I just remember Simmy. And so I was friends with Simmy. And when I was like sitting next to Simmy, this girl dropped on the floor and pretended like she was having a seizure in the middle of class. What? This is news to me. I swear to God, you were like shaking, <laughs> like. <laughs> Why are y'all friends like, with really? me? What's wrong with me? <laughs> I need help. So yeah, pretty much. That's how I met her. And I was just like, this girl's kind of weird. It's funny. Anyway. And then that's how we became friends. And we became like all like best friends. Like all sixth grade. Wait, did we have PE class together or no? We did one year, I think. Oh yeah, we did. What do you I mean? I remember we... Did? Oh yeah, Coach Benito. Oh, no. oh, let's not even get into that. That was a goody two shoes. I'm doing high. Thing is, I don't even know how my mom never found out about these things because I feel like my mom should have got called many times, but she never did. 
negative. I literally was such a goody two-shoes, and the only thing that I did bad, I got caught for. What? I skipped advisory. Why oh, I hate it. I don't even know. Like, that's so dumb. Uh, advisory was just... I skipped advisory with Jessica. We just went to the restroom. Like, that was it. And wow. we were just hanging out in there. We never got caught that time. But then, when we did it the second time, Deja joined us. Oh, Amarachi. yeah. If you, if you bring a bunch of people... No, but... I think I remember. Wait, wait. No, no. This was... you. No, this was in high school or this was when? No, junior high. I, I was, was in y'all's high school. Yeah, that's what I thought. So, I was like, no way. Yeah, so it was me, Jessica... Deja I think I joined and then Amarachi. I remember seeing y'all in the hallway and I was like, what are y'all doing? I think I remember. I think so. Mm -hmm. And then and then we got caught because Deja, they questioned her and asked like why she was like gone or whatever. And she said, I was at the nurse's office and then Amarachi said the same thing. And then when they went to go check, they were both not on the list and then they found me and Jessica and they were like, oh, well, yeah, all y'all go to the office. And then my mom found out about it. And I was like, my detention would you say that was a detention or that was just calling your parents no they took us to the principal's office so did you ever did you ever have detention no you had detention in junior high yes first and last detention i ever had in my life but it was so stupid dude. wait you never got a detention in high school no i've been such girl my grades and everything in high school has been great everything was good but um no, it was in junior high. I remember, like, my last period was art class. The bell was about to ring. I think we had two minutes left, and I just wanted to get out real quick to do something. I forgot what I wanted to do, but I just wanted to get out real quick. And she was like, guys, you can't leave. And I left anyways. Two minutes left. The next day I come back, she writes me up for the tension for leaving early. It's not that serious, Karen. It's not that serious. Shame on you. And I don't even think I should. Uh, I should no, in high school I got into tensions, but it was for tardies. Oh no! I would run because, like, I remember my mom was like, "You better not be late." And so, like, I'd run so I wouldn't get that attention. But like sometimes, like, I would just I'd be late, bro. Okay, like I wasn't late that often. I think I had like detention like maybe twice in high school. Just for the tardies? Oh, and I did get in detention one time because this girl at school was trying to like start stuff with me and she said that I recorded her in the locker room. And I was like, girl. So they're just going off a of suspicion and they gave it attention anyway? Yes, cause I, like, I remember the teacher was like, well, we have to, cause it was a, a selfie of me in the mirror in the bathroom. And they said, I shouldn't have my phone in there anyway. Oh my God, everybody does that. I know. So I was like, like, the whole class so, but yeah, I got a detention because I had the selfie. And so they were like, so who, you shouldn't have been in there. Cause what's I, up with this girl, what's, what's her deal? She just didn't like you? Like, what's her problem? I don't, I don't even remember. <laughs> it's I don't not remember that who serious. the girl was. It was my freshman year. I got my detentions in freshman year. Other than that, high school, I was good. Uh, what's y'all's favorite memory together? <laughs> For some reason, the first thing that came up in my head was a park. But, like, what park? I don't know. Oh, my God. Yeah, the trip. That trip. That's There we go. That trip. I don't know where we went. But it was me, you, Ebe, and, like, I don't know where we were. But I was wearing that. That, I, like... The one where I sent you the video of us taking a video on the bus? Is that what you're talking about? I think so, yeah. And I was wearing that big blue jacket with a big heart on it. Ooh, now looking back on it. Ooh. Yeah, I was wearing that little hat with the piece. Yes, yes. That's exactly what I'm talking about. Oh, my gosh. <laughs> oh, my God. That was so much fun because we got out of school and we could actually just hang out and be, do whatever. Yeah. It was so fun. I had fun. And the fact that I even remember it, that's how you know it was memorable. <laughs> so the fact that I remember the it. The fact that I remember it. No, I think mine was probably like the times I lost in Terra, dude. Oh yeah, that was no, fun. Those are fun. Remember when I think it was you who did? Yeah, it was you who put a balloon inside her stomach and then you grabbed the Gatorade bottle and pretended like your water was breaking. What was wrong with me, dude? Why are dude. you friends with me, dude? But that's what made it so fun because you were always doing wild stuff. Like every time we were at. Oh, you said we could say it. Lost in Terra, like, it, we were always doing, like, dumb stuff. Like, the Mr. Bean thing. We went to school, and we were playing with those little ropes, remember? Those things that, it was, like, it was just, like, a little. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. The ropes, and we climbed it, and remember I slipped? Oh, my God. 
Oh my gosh. Like, those are so, that, those times were so funny. I think those are my favorite memories. It's just great being young because you don't care about anything. Like, at least, and I like, did. we were like, staying out of trouble. We weren't like those yeah. kids, like, we were generally having fun. Yeah. We weren't, we weren't doing coke. With Isaiah. Yeah, it was fun. I, I think Luisa came with us sometimes. I don't think Semi ever went with us. Mm -mm. Yeah. What is a fear of yours? Why am I going to tell YouTube that? Uh uh. uh, uh. Somehow this is going to come back to me. I'm scared of heights. So. Oh, girl, my the one thing about You're scared of roaches. You could have just said that. We're not telling them that. I don't know what these evil people going to do to me. <laughs> like, put me in a room with fucking cockroaches. I know, no, no, no. <laughs> the funny thing is, I want to jump out of a, a plane. That's what I want to do. So I guess I can't do that with you. I was going to invite you. Oh, heck no. You got to be so messed up if you think I'm going <laughs> to. I like okay so I can like go on roller coasters and stuff I'm like getting over my fear of heights like on roller coasters and stuff they push you off a cliff but like cliff diving and like oh and the ocean scares me I'm scared of the ocean I'm like, scared of algae it's so mysterious it what <laughs> you never do that that's like the dumbest fear I have I'm scared of algae why I ask my mom and my sister bro they used to scare me they used to get algae from the beach and just we're gonna it's so scary to me i know they're plants i know but they just look so scary they look like underground creatures or something what bro what are you talking about man they scare me to this day i can't <laughs> bruh no i'm scared of the ocean just everything about the ocean scares me i like i don't like going to the beach i really don't what i don't what if we went to like bahamas clear water like I'll oh, go to the can't. beach. I go to the beach even if I'm scared. But you won't see me like go far or. Oh, well, I'll go far. No. Shark, take me. What? <laughs> like the ocean is a scary place. You don't know what's it down there. And then like you've heard about like, like I forgot what it's called. Like bo like below like the ocean. Like okay, I know what you're talking about. Like I don't know what it's called. It's like it's past and like there's fishes that people don't even know what's down there you know what i'm saying yeah i think it's like the marina mariana trench i don't know how you say it like where that mm. fish is with the light with at in nemo no hombre anyway no sé. he said no sé. <laughs> but like that's like there's a, something beneath the water like that you don't even know exist okay i understand I, I don't know if you saw that one movie it's, I, it was like about a megalodon shark even though like they're not supposed to be real but some people say like oh, they live down you there you know more about the sea than i do and i and i've lived with paul for years i should know more than you all right you guys so that's enough for today hopefully you guys enjoyed a little mukbang and i'll see you guys next time yes sir